Fetch your stool, Antoninus. In here with it. That will do. Do you steal Antoninus? No, Master. Do you lie? Not if I can avoid it. Have you ever dishonored the gods? No, Master. Do you refrain from these vices out of respect for the moral virtues? Yes, Master. Do you eat oysters? When I have them, Master. Do you eat snails? No, Master. Do you consider the eating of oysters to be moral and the eating of snails to be immoral? No, Master. Of course not. It is all a matter of taste, isn't it? Yes, Master. And taste is not the same as appetite, and therefore not a question of morals, is it? It could be argued so, Master. My robe, Antoninus. My taste includes both snails and oysters. Antoninus, look. Across the river. There is something you must see. There, boy, is Rome. Might, the majesty, the terror of Rome. There is the power that bestrides the known world like a colossus. No man can withstand Rome. No nation can withstand her. How much less a boy. There's only one way to deal with Rome, Antoninus. You must serve her. You must abase yourself before her. You must grovel at her feet. You must love her. Isn't that so, Antoninus? Tonight